Hey guys, and welcome back to CanCode. Today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you how you can add bullets to the shooter game that we made in the last video. So right here, we have a game where we can move forward, backward, and we can go around our mouse with the left and right arrow keys. This is going to be useful for when bad guys come, we can put our mouse on the bad guy and rotate around the bad guy as we're shooting. We can dodge other bad guys as we shoot at the one bad guy. That's kind of cool. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make bullets so we can actually shoot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this little thing here that says choose a sprite. And we can do any of these options. I'm going to explain what each of them do real quick. This one is one where you can upload a sprite. If you have a picture on your computer, you can upload it to Scratch using this button. This one down here is to choose a sprite. There's a sprite library where you can choose any costume from the Scratch library. This one is where when you can paint a sprite, and this is one where it chooses a random costume from the Scratch library. So what we're going to do is we're going to click this paint button. When we click this, we're able to make our own sprite. It's just a blank sprite. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a bullet. So I'm going to change this sprite from sprite 1 to bullet. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the bullet. Okay, so here is my bullet. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the size maybe slightly smaller. So it's normal is 100. You can make it maybe eh, 80 maybe. Okay, that's pretty good. And what we're going to do is we're going to code it to actually shoot out of the guy. So we're going to go to events and grab one flag clicked. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hide it. In the looks, we're going to go to looks tab and we're going to scroll down to where it says hide. And what this does is when we click the flag, the bullet disappears. The reason why we want it to not appear is because we want to not make the original uh, bullet appear, but we want clones of the bullet. What clones are, are they're copies that we can create and make, make each copy do what we want it to do. So the reason why we're going to do this and not just use the original bullet is because sometimes there's going to be more than one bullet on the screen because we might shoot and then shoot again before the other bullet disappears. And this is why we're going to use clones. The clones are also a lot more efficient than just using a lot of bullet sprites. And it's a lot easier to code, so let's do this. So when the sprite click, it, well, we're going to have hide. And now what we're going to do is we're going to shoot a bullet when we click. So how we're going to do this is we're going to go to control and we're going to grab a forever loop. We're going to add that after the hide. What the forever loop is going to do is it's always going to be checking to see when we're going to click. So what we can do is we can go to this if statement and drag it inside the forever. And this if statement is going to check or if we're clicking then shoot a bullet. So we're going to go to sensing and we're going to grab a mouse down block. We're going to put that mouse down block inside the if l or inside the if statement. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put the bullet that's going to be shooting inside of here. So we're going to go to control, and at the bottom of control, there are three blocks. These blocks control clones. The first one is create a clone of myself. So we're going to add that here. Myself is the bullet. We can also create clones of other sprites. So we can create a clone of the player, but we don't want to do that. We just want to create a clone of myself, which is the bullet, because that's what we're coding. So now we can say when we start as a clone, we want the clones to show. We want the bullets to actually show, right? So we can show this bullet. Now we want it to shoot. How do we make it shoot? Well, we're first going to make it go to the player. So the bullet doesn't shoot out of no nothing. It just wants to shoot out of the player. So we can go to the player. Go to this block here. We're going to put right there. And it's going to say go to player. Because that's what the costume. Because that's what the sprite name is. Okay. So now once it's gone to the, the player, what we're going to do is we're going to make it shoot out of the player. So it's going to first point in the same direction that the player is pointing. So what we can do is we can say point in direction with this. But how do we know what direction the player is pointing? Well, we can actually use a really cool block, which is in sensing. It is this block right here. Backdrop number of stage. But we're not going to use this. We're going to use, we're going to put it in there, but we're going to use um the player we're gonna add player and it's going to be the direction of player so the direction of player 
This is a block we can use to figure out what the direction of the player is. So now the bullet is going to point in direction, the direction of the player. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have it so it points in the same direction, but you'll notice that in the last video, we made the gun sort of kind of to the right. And the reason why is because sometimes you're looking down your scope, which is kind of down the right side. So we're going to have to make it move not to the player and pointing in the same direction, but we also need to move it to the side a little bit. Now this would be pretty easy if we just change the X position by a little bit, but the player could be pointing in any direction. So how are we going to make it so that it points or it moves to the right direction? Well, this is, we're going to do the same thing that we used in the player uh, video. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn 90 degrees, a full quarter circle, and it's going to point to the right, and then we're going to move it slightly. We'll move like three steps maybe. We'll see what that does. And then we're going to turn back to the left 90 degrees. And then it should make it kind of shoot out of the right side. Now, what else do we need to add? Well, now that it's in the right position, we want it to actually shoot, right? So we're going to have a, a repeat block. We can use, we don't want to use forever because the bullet's going to stop eventually. We also, we could use a repeat number, but I'm going to use a repeat until block. Now the repeat until block is going to repeat until it hits the edge. So we can go to sensing and grab this first block here that says touching mouse pointer. And we're going to say when it's touching the edge. Now, after it touches the edge, it will get to the end of the loop and it will delete the clone. So we're going to use the final block in the clones, which is delete this clone. Now, what do we want it to do in this repeat block before it touches the edge? We want it to be moving forward, right? So let's go to motion and then move maybe 10 steps because we want it to go pretty fast. Now, let's see what happens. When we click the flag and we start clicking, we're going to get a lot of bullets. Also, you notice that I'm kind of dragging this bullet around, and that's because of just something while you're coding, you can kind of drag things around. So if you want that to go away, we go to full screen. It'll work a lot better. Okay, so I can see a lot of problems here. I don't know about you. Um, but first of all, it's not going down right down the barrel, so we need to move it a little bit more. Second of all, the bullets are going backwards. We don't want the bullets to go this direction. We want them to go to uh, the other direction. Also, they're going on top of the player, which isn't good. And the, one of the most uh, obvious ones is that there are tons of bullets shooting. So, let's fix these one by one. Let's fix by the most important to the least important. First of all, let's fix the one where the bullets are just shooting a ton of. So, instead of just... The reason why this is happening is we're going to go here to when the flag clicked. It's forever going to be checking if mouse is down. And then it's going to be creating a clone of itself. This is just creating clones again and again and again. After it creates a clone of itself, it needs to wait until, by going to the control, we can go to wait until, right here, we want to wait until the ma uh, not mouse down, so we'll duplicate that. So we're going to wait until we're not clicking before we're able to click again. So now let's play this, and we click, and if we hold it down, it doesn't work, so we have to click a bunch of times for it to actually work. Okay. Now, let's fix the, the reason why it is uh, backwards. It's going backwards. So, why is this happening? Well, it's pointing towards the direction of the player. But remember how I said we want the bullets always to be going to the right? Or not just any sprite. We want them to be pointing to the right. Well, see, the player is pointing to the right. But the bullet is pointing to the left. And this is a problem that I made while I was drawing the sprite. I need to rotate it all the way around. But how do I get exactly all the way around without being a little bit off? Well, you can actually do this by holding down shift. So select everything, hold down shift, and as you turn it around, it'll lock into place right when it is exactly pointing to the right. I'm also going to make sure that this is right in the center, which it is. And now, let's try this. Now as I shoot, they're pointing to the right direction. Okay. Now let's fix the thing that is not going right down the barrel. It's kind of going a little bit more down the center. So we have it moving three steps, but let's go a little more. Maybe we'll do seven. Now let's see what happens. This is closer, but it needs to go even further. Let's do ten. This is pretty good. I'd say maybe nine. 
No, that's about right down the bullet. The barrel. But, okay. So now let's make it so that it goes behind the player. In when my starter is a clone, what we want to do is we want to go to looks and then scroll down to go to. We're going to put that right there and say go to back layer. Now, it's doing pretty good. But you can notice that you can kind of see the bullet between the guy and the gun before it shoots because what's happening is it's going to the player and not to the barrel of the gun. So let's make it so that it goes to the barrel of the gun. Uh, it goes to the player and then it points in the direction of the player. Now before it goes to the right spot, we want it to move forward a little bit. Let's try 20 steps. We can still see it. So let's go with 30 steps. And that's pretty good. Now it's just shooting out of the gun. That looks pretty nice. All right. That's pretty cool. Now one more thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the bullets shoot a little bit faster because they're not going very fast. Let's go 20 steps. That's pretty cool. And they are deleting when they get to the end of the edge, so that's pretty nice. We can still move around with the arrow keys. And that is pretty cool. Now that's all for this video. In the next video, I'm going to program enemies. I'm going to show you how you can make enemies attack you and go to your direction. Thank you for watching this video. Please remember to subscribe and subscribe to my other account, CFOP Cubing, which I'll have a link in the description. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Did you know that I put hours into these videos to help you become a better programmer? And did you also know that it only takes three seconds to subscribe? Just saying.